Uh, thank you. <coughs> uh, first, I'd just uh, like to thank uh, Mayor Tate and Denise Barnes for the couple conversations we've had. It's been nice to be able to talk to you about some various issues. Of course, right regarding the homeless. My name is R. Joshua Collins, founder of Homeless Advocates for Christ. And um, first, I'd just like to read a little out of Psalm 2. It says, uh, Be wise now, therefore, you kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and you perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. I know sometimes um, certain people have the misunderstanding that sometimes rulers, judges, kings, city council people don't have a responsibility to serve God, but uh, all of us do. And of course, uh, justice and mercy are big on God's heart. Um, I want to encourage you to take a look at uh, AMC chapter 11, um, you know, the laws about taking property and those types of things. And want, just ask yourself, is this a merciful act to take sleeping bags, tarps, and things like that away from homeless poor people? Um, I want to encourage the councils I have been for probably years, and I guess you could say, um, encourage you to, uh, you know, put a temporary restraining order, you could say, regarding these laws, the anti-camping, anti-storage of property laws. <clears throat> Uh, until more housing is available for everybody, because obviously we don't have uh, enough housing. I know that 400 more beds are coming, but they're not here yet. It would be a huge help, you know, and, and hopefully we can get to these people and, and get them into housing eventually. But, uh, you know, what happened with the Boise case and how we're not to criminalize, you know, the homeless when they have nowhere else to go. Um, it'd be a wise move, I think, for the city to do that, to avoid any more litigation and all that kind of thing. Um, of course, um, I believe housing is a human right. God commands each one of us to fight for the rights of the poor. Uh, Proverbs 31, 8 and 9 says, defend the rights of the poor and the needy. Um, so uh, we also know uh, the situation with uh, David Doan. He had a heart condition, a heart attack, uh, mental issues, high blood pressure, and he was forced out of the place that he was at. And uh, there's many others with these types of conditions, right? David Doan passed away because of uh, all the stress that came from constantly being moved and pushed around. And uh, of course, Patsy Davis, now she's in one of those, uh, she had a stroke, heart attack, all those types of things too. Uh, you know, a lot of people in that situation on the streets right now, you know, a lot of health issues, mental, all that kind of thing. So I just wanna encourage the council, uh, I'm pleading with you to please uh, do, uh, put some kind of restraining order in place to stop uh, all the pushing around of the homeless so much, and hopefully we can get them some real help soon. Um, Consider, consider one more thing I guess you could say. In the time of the Nazis, you know, segregation, those types of things, there was the oppressor. Thank you, sir, your time is There was the, the oppressed and the oppressor. Consider what side you're on and try to fight for the oppressed. Thanks for your time. homeless, pray that they'll listen, you know, all those properties being taken from the homeless, uh, get, a lot of times they're getting tickets for having property in the city of Anaheim, so we need change, we need it now, so um, thanks for your personal support, please uh, share the video, do join Homeless Advocates for Christ on Facebook, and um, pray for change, you know, thanks for your personal support, everyone out there, and, um, hope to hear from you soon. Do like, subscribe, share, and may God bless you as you seek first his kingdom always. Bye -bye.